My name is Josh Van Campen, and I'm a uh, plant side employment lawyer. And I'm doing this because I honestly I think that I'm this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, you know, it's really nice to uh, wake up in the morning and, and be motivated to go to work, um, and not even necessarily motivated, just driven. Um, and so, you know, I remember when I used to be a management side defense attorney in these sort of discrimination cases. I was looking forward to <laughs> leaving work or sleeping in. And you know, for me, it's, it's just an automatic thing. It's Monday, it's Tuesday, it's Monday, Thursday, Friday, time to go to work. Um, and, and, and never be graduated and, and look forward to it. And I actually have to turn myself off on the weekend. Because <laughs> that's it comes naturally to me. It's, oh, it's a Saturday morning, we get a coffee and get the laptop out. Helps me. So uh, you know, I'd say that's why, why I do what I do. That comes from my mom. <laughs> I'd say, uh, you know, she was uh, somebody who, you know, spent a lot of time instilling, um, you know, values. We, we actually didn't grow up, you know, in an organized religion sort of setting. But, um, you know, even without that, my mom, it's just, uh, I, I don't know, probably even before I could understand what she was saying, I think she just exuded it and, uh, and stuff. And so if you look at what, you know, what I do or both of my sisters do, you know, we're, we're all employed in, in public interest type positions uh, where we can help people and I don't want to give my dad a short shift either because <laughs> he's a social worker his whole life and, you know, and, and also uh, taught us uh, that helping people in, in a profession is something you know, we're that you should do. Just the other day we, we had a, a double mediation where we represented two uh, females who were uh, victims of sexual harassment and, um, and, and I stopped and paused and remembered you know, their demeanor and how they were when they walked in the door and how we had a late night and, and got their case settled um, and how they, they lit up. I mean, it was almost as if I could see the weight coming off them. You know, they, 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 they were more flush in the face, smiles that I had never seen before. And, you know, what was gratifying to me was also thinking about, and now they're going out into the world, um, you know, and whereas before they were racked with, you know, anxiety and um, sadness. You know, they're, they're going out there bubbly um, and happy and all the people that they're going to touch. So, you know, where you have an opportunity uh, to help someone in a crisis and then to send them out into the world in a better place, um, it, it makes it feel like, you know, you have more of an impact than just in your case. I, I definitely feel confident in saying that, you know, we've had a positive impact, you know, in our city and, and not, not so much, you know, obviously in helping people on a, you know, on a person by person basis. But what I like to think is that it also is a deterrent. So, you know, a lot of the cases that we have brought, you know, uh, have been, you know, uh, publicity, high publicity type cases, cases with a lot of exposure in the community. And I like to think that, you know, employers that see that, um, you know, and, and uh, not the, not the well-intentioned employers, you know, but the employers, for example, that you still have, you know, visages of uh, discrimination, especially in the construction industry, for example, we see that a lot. Um, I'd, li I'd like to see that, or like to think that they see someone that we've exposed as having violated the law and, and self-corrected themselves before we even need to get involved. So, you know, that may be dreamy. <laughs> I mean, the point is, it happens or it doesn't, you know, we're, we're still here. You know, we're not going anywhere. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll remain in this fight in our city and our state.